Cypress, Jerome. Friar, yeah. So Cyprus had, what did you have? You had a bit of a back injury? I something did. happened? Yes. When? When um, was this? Back in November, I lifted something and I felt a little tweak and then it started to hurt when I kind of went to bend forward. Okay, and yeah. then it just kind of lingered, right? It yeah. didn't kind of go away. It never it really went away. Never really went away and she was like, okay, what do I do, dad, you know? So I taught her very likely it was a mechanism related to flexion and load, right? Which usually indicates this, where there is a bending forward and the nucleus pushes backwards and you can get a little fissure. Your history is of dancing. So like super mobility, right? So with her age category, she has very hydrated discs. They're very healthy, but at the same time, they're very flexible. So there's a lot of hydraulics in there and for potential for these little injuries to occur. So it's kind of devastating when you're young and all of a sudden it's like you get a back, you get a back problem. So it didn't really go away very, very easily. I kind of talked a little bit about stability. You, you kind of, I don't know how compliant you were with kind of doing that, maybe not 100% compliant. And then she was starting to feel good. And then what did you, what happened? Well, I was starting to feel like, oh yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. So then I was in the gym and I was doing a back day and I decided to do a back extension on a machine. And I actually did it with no, not free weight, I did it with a weight. And what I did is I ended up going halfway to extension and so, I so gave out, my back gave out and I fell to the ground and it felt a pop and I... Could barely walk, barely stand. Right, so, so this actually facet gapped open, so she was doing an excessive motion at that particular level that was already a little hypermobile. Yeah. Flare up, significant flare up, right? And then she was like, it was difficult to move, and it was really hard on her and emotionally. You know, she just started as an RMT, and also now she's got a back related problem. So got her on the stability program because in this younger category usually it's not a hypomobile like something is not moving enough it's something is moving too much so stability need, stability need to be rendered in there so she got in a stability program and just now she's starting to feel i'm feeling good right very much better no no pain being stagnant and no pain when sleeping anymore but now it feels like my back needs to be cracked. Yeah, so like she it, called me today. Like cracked, yeah. And she says, Dad, I got no pain anymore. It's awesome, but my back feels like it needs to be cracked. And I was like, hold on, hold on, because this is the body's natural strategies to tighten and to stiffen. This is often where people go awry when they feel like their back needs to be stretched or bent or over mobilized. And, but really, it's the body's ability to tighten the tissues in here. So I said, whoa, 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 whoa. That'll go away. Just give it some time, and it will. So I'm totally happy, and I'm so grateful that you shared your story with yeah. everybody, and hopefully it'll help you guys too. Yes, yes, thank you.